and action. Hello everybody, welcome to Kickheads podcast where we talk about everything film industry related. And today we are going to continue and finish our MCU tier list. And we only have phase three left to go, which is actually half of all the MCU movies. Phase 3 has 11 movies. And yeah, so let's start with the first movie of the Phase 3, which is... Oh, Civil War. Is it? Yeah. Oh yeah. The, the first one on the Phase 3. It's... Mm. <laughs> it's, not that, it's not that great, but it's better than Thor. <laughs> is it good? I don't know. I what, what, what do you put think? It to, put it to great. I think um, it's the first time we see Spider-Man and Black Panther. The ending is amazing where there is like Winter Soldier. Iron Man finds out that Winter Soldier killed his father and then the fight... And then, then Captain America fights Iron Man, and then at the end, Iron Man is like, "You don't deserve the shield, my father made that." And then uh, Captain America drops the shield, and there is amazing scenes in this movie. And um, yeah, but would I put it as great? <sighs> I think you would put it as good. I would put it as great. So this is kind of like a tricky situation. Yeah, because now I'm, we are stacking them now. On the middle sector, where I'd say all the movies with Spider Man is probably gonna be like movies that we are gonna yeah. disagree. <laughs> okay, good, great, so. yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't really know. Uh, let's just put it somewhere. Let's okay, let's put it to um, because I think it's better than Iron Man first or first Captain America or even Ace of Ultron, so I, that's why I would put it to great. We, we really need to uh, switch some up like at the end, but... Okay, let's put it to good for now. Okay, good for and now. And then then switch up later, because we need to feel something with Marvelous and, and the last one. Then the next one is Doctor Strange. Uh, I will say, uh, like, I like Doctor Strange. It's pretty good. It's... It's pretty, pretty good. Uh, like Doctor Strange, the scenes are good. The story is... Well, it's kind of... I don't know. Now I think about it. Kind of che- like froze at some points, but then it's decently good. Like again, the Dormammu part, I'm not really fan. It's it's kind of fun, some part. The fights are... The uh, fight on the streets of New York and the uh, start fight. It kind of has this mysterious thing and then... Yeah, I would say I would say Doctor Doctor Strange is is high good. It's high good. Okay, really. Um, I would say that I think it's kind of generic superhero story. But then again, like I think it's not good enough reason to you know dislike the movie because I think well the first yeah. Iron Man is kind of generic. Captain America is kind of generic also. So. It's just what Marvel does. The first movie is always just this basic Marvel superhero movie. But I like Doctor Strange as a character. I would put it to okay or good. I, so. Okay, I would put it in good also. Yeah, okay, let's put it to... Because if we had something on Marvelous, I would say maybe it's... And something on Don't Watch, I would say it's maybe great, but... Okay, yeah, with I think the, if we with, will, with these grades... If we now change... Well, let's let's again in the end. What's the how how will we change this? But yeah, for now let's put it there. Um, yeah. And uh, then if we have some movies that we really disagree, then also I think we can like just make it clear that we will put it to different places. But yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Anyways, um, let's go to the Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah, we talked two, about that. That we talked about already. That. That, that we will probably put to great, was it? Yeah. No, we, yeah, one level above. Yeah. Yeah, it's better than the previous one. Now, now it's stacked up uh, with Avengers and ah. Uh... Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> let's it's... let's have it. Uh, let's let's um. Yeah. Yeah, we have the chance of the, the order. End. Yeah. 
And we oh, still have no. have nothing in Marvelous or nothing in the last yeah, place. Yeah, I think that and has I'm to be changed. Taste, say that all the time. Bottom um, category, don't watch. Yeah. <laughs> uh. The bottom. Um, do we go just to the? Do you want to talk about this movie or do we just we uh, already kind of talked about it? Yeah, so. we talked. To, it's it's better. We both agree it's better than the first Guardians, and if the first yeah. Guardians is there, we have the. It's kind of like a close the... call still, but I think it has better villain, and I think that makes it a better movie. Yeah, if it makes sense. So, yeah, that's my take on it. There's nothing else really. Um, yep. Okay. Yeah, I think we talked about it earlier. So. Yeah, let's just go to the next one, which is the first Spider-Man. Oh, so the, the first movie, Spider-Man Homecoming. And I actually like this much more than a lot of people do. A lot of people discredit this because it's um, it's a Iron Man Junior and blah blah blah. But I think it's I love how it's different than other Spider Mans. Only thing that I would want to say is that I would want it to be more serious. I would want MCU Spider Man in general to be more serious. Like I yeah, like the I, high I school like to stuff. Have MCU more serious. Right yeah, now. honestly, yeah, true. But like I, I like the high school stuff and all the like the jokes are kind of like teen, teen stuff and it's like more, like because he's just you know in homecoming he's I think fifteen or sixteen, so yeah it's like the Guardian movies, it's they're fun and they're not, like fun to watch but they still like yeah no, I I like that Spider Man movies are kind of unique from the other MCU movies in in a way that they are not I I don't think it's serious enough but at the same time it's like has this own like high school vibe type of movie and it's not like like the others like it has some uniqueness in it yeah um but also sometimes I think John Watts who is the director with these movies I think some sometimes he kind of gets overboard also what I think. Also, my honest opinion is that even though I love Infinity War, but the way yep. they did in Spider-Man Infinity War kind of uh, destroys the whole meaning of the arc in uh, Spider-Man arc in Homecoming. Because in Homecoming, Spider-Man is like, yeah, I want to be... Like, in the stars, he's like, I want to be Avenger, I want to be Avenger. And the whole arc is yeah. about that he learns that he needs to be himself and that he, he should be just a friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. That's, that's, that's who he is. And he soon yeah. tried to be Iron Man or, you know. Yeah, I have to say the second one is... <laughs> I believe that I... To me, the second one is better than the first one. Yeah. Yeah, I would say that also. I think the... It's even more like about Spider Man. I don't know. It's I like the second one too more. But I the first one I actually like at the start. I like uh, I like both of them, of course. But like the first one, I like the villain. I I think Spider Man in general has like great villains in MCU. Like the only problem with them is that both of the villains has something to do with Tony Stark. Yeah, that's the biggest problem. But, like, I wouldn't mind if it has something to do with other MCU movies and stories, but that it's always Tony Stark. It's, I don't know, it's weird. Yeah, but now yeah. Tony's dead, so... <coughs> yeah, I don't so, know, man. <coughs> and kind of the end of Far From Home, and the arc story of Far From Home kind of, I don't know, points out that probably the next Spider-Man is going to be about Spider-Man again. So... Finally, like fully Spider-Man. Uh, so I think a lot of Spider-Man fans will like that and enjoy that. But in the so talking about Homecoming, uh, what I was trying to say is that like uh, the story was that he wants to be like at the end he said that he don't want to be part of Avengers and he didn't want to take the Iron Spider suit from Tony and uh, was it, like said that he wants to be the friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. But then when we go to Infinity War like at the start he gets the suit and he's all adventures adventure yeah. right away so I think it kind of destroys the whole meaning of this homecoming arc it's kind of sad but yeah you know what's you gonna do anyways I would probably put this to I would put it to good I think yeah cause I would say the first uh, uh, yeah that's the thing like I would put it, it's I would say it's as good as Anthem Man is the first one, 
But when when I see that we have put <laughs> Thor on the same as Ant-Man, but uh, then I know it's much better than <coughs> Thor. So uh, you have to put it on good uh, with this uh, yeah, scaling we I have right now. I would also say I think this is better than Ant-Man because I think this has better villain. Because Ant-Man, like, the villain is villain because it's villain. But in this movie... Uh, there is the I don't remember the name. How how can I be a Spider-Man fan and not remember the villain names? Um, uh, which, Vulture, which Vulture, Vulture, Vulture in the Homecoming, yeah. Vulture. So I like the fact that he's not really a bad guy, but he's kind of like or feels or he is, but he thinks he's not. You know, I think like he validates them what he's trying to do. Sorry, uh, that it's a good thing to do, or like he he he's doing the right thing. Like he's not just yeah, I'm a bad guy because I want to be a bad guy. I want to kill people. No, it's like. And he kind of even like respects Peter for saving um, his daughter's life, you know, in the in the Washington, yeah. and and kind of it's like, okay, so I'm gonna give you a second chance, and I'm not gonna kill you yet, but just get out of my business. Like I'm just trying to feed my family, and you know, I think he's like not fully yeah, a bad guy. And- our like uh, like exactly, I well yeah, I we have to put it on good right now. I think it will stay on good because. I think the second one is better and it should be on with the same the second one should be in the same category with uh, Strange and Guardians 2 the second one should be in the same but yeah I'm actually kind of surprised that we disagree with the Doctor Strange parts like I don't know I, I always just was like I like Doctor Strange but the yeah, movie looks other cool. parts of the, mo- I, I, I other parts of the movie like I didn't it. really I, I yeah I, I probably just like it because it's a bit more serious the whole movie is a yeah. bit more serious except the ending like I said the ending uh, Dormammu bit I don't like but yeah. I think we agree on this should we next <laughs> yeah should we go to next which is uh, let's go to next uh, Thor Ragnarok oh Ragnarok oh damn uh, uh, coming damn. to the funny movie sector here uh, or approaching it pretty heavy. Uh. Um, I gotta say, I don't know. Um, how do I say this? I like the movie, but I think the movie could have been much better if they wouldn't have focused so much on the jokes and comedic effects. And I think it kind of lost lost the footing there. I think it they kind of yeah. I don't know. It just. Like they, they, it's like one of those movies where they should have a serious tone, like serious scene. They just have making joke out of it, and yeah, I don't know. I think we have, we <coughs> really have to <laughs> adjust the tears with the move. Every movie is gonna move pretty much, or most of the movies are going to move. Yeah. a little bit later on this but I would episode. Put, for now, I don't know. I would put to okay. Yeah, I, exactly. I I was about to say I would put it in okay, uh, and without uh, needing to adjust it later, I would put it in yeah. okay right now. I think it's like it's. And I I think that 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 will be I think that will be the final position. Yeah, and I think a lot of people movie. will be disagreeing with us. I know a lot of people that will be well, that will pull Ragnarok to great or even marvelous, and I'm just sorry. I, I, this is just it's, how yeah, I see. Um, I, I I don't. I, I like the movie. Comedic. I like the movie, but in this continuity, it's just no. <laughs> I think it's just like American Pie of <laughs> Marvel movies. It's just like too comedic, you know, really. Like takes uh, nothing yeah. really serious, and I think at that point Thor will b- already be like kind of sad because in like Infinity War he's like really dark, like the darkest we have seen Thor. Yeah, and in this Ragnarok he's like he don't even care, even though he just like lost his um, father and mother both, you know, and well didn't lose a brother yet, but mother and mother and father he already lost them and yeah. like still he's like choking around and stuff like that I don't know it's just oh I think, it should be, oh, okay. I think it should be more serious like there can be like I like the fact that there is comedic effect I think it fits Thor and I think it fits Chris Hemsworth's style 
Oh, but damn. I would want the character himself be more serious, you know. Yeah, Thor character should be more serious. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Next one. Next one is Black Panther. Uh, on my latest rewatch, a month ago, like I said earlier, I did skip two movies. <laughs> Oh, three movies, and those were, uh, and uh, accidentally four movies. I skipped uh, Ant Man and the Wasp accidentally, uh, <laughs> but I skipped three movies. The three movies were Thor second, Black Panther, and uh, Captain. Uh, what is it? Marvel? Is it called that? Yeah, Captain Marvel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretty, pretty. I large think Black movie. Panther. I've seen it. I think twice. I'm pretty sure I've seen it I've twice. I've seen it probably more than twice, but yeah. And um, I think it's it's not bad, but I think it's overrated. Because people, it's like one of the greatest MCU movies. Yeah, it's and, more, um, more serious, but it's not the, the type of I like. It's just not yeah, the movie and, type of And I, I like, like the bad guy. Okay, I, I do like the villain. But there's uh, so many scenes that actually I think makes no sense. Like that, just you know, when, when there is some like for me, the biggest thing that makes me not really enjoy a movie that much is when there is scenes that takes me out of the movie to like think about like, like what the heck, what was that, you know, you know, yeah. like one movie that did that to me like all the time is the and the reason why I didn't really like the movie was the Last Jedi to people who watch Star Wars, um, and I think this in some parts not as much, but in some parts did the same. Like for example, when he just goes to challenge. Black Panther and they're like okay and, and a random guy who has never been here but he goes to challenge our king and then he kills him and now yeah. he's the king for no reason like that makes no sense like their fucking culture is like the stupidest thing ever if that actually is something that really happens there so like I'm sorry but well, that's, well, that's well, the way I well, see it so I don't know Yeah. well like in simple thought it's pretty stupid but thinking about if it's like a thing they have done for thousands and thousands of generations, they don't, they can't think it's stupid. Like for us, it's, it seems pretty dumb. But if you think that you are in a people who's, everybody who you know thinks that is the way. Yeah, but also I think if they yeah, would have done so, that for yeah. thousands and thousands of years, they will all be dead by now. Because they will have some crazy idiot as a king who just kills everybody. So, I don't know. Yeah, but I don't know if it's. It's the like could that... Thor come there and be like, "I wanna be the challenge no, the but king." No, then... the thing you have to be from. You have to be born on Wakanda or something. So you have to. Be... Yeah, but I don't know. Or do you have to have like some of blood? Like I don't know. I don't even remember if they like. I don't remember the movie for... actually. Now uh, I have to probably watch it, but. And the ending, uh, it has the problem with the CGI of the movie. Uh, there's a lot of problem with the CGI. Like there's a plane that flies over the world, and there's not without shadows. Sh- and yeah, yeah, without shadows. Like, and the, I don't end, know. Yeah, the ending fight on the underground something. Uh, <laughs> yeah, some it's way. just really bad. It's just really bad. It's worse than a. <laughs> It's pretty bad. And yeah, if people uh, talk about how Spider-Man movies have bad CGI, like it's nothing. Compared to like, I I think this Black Panther has much I cannot, I cannot find that spy- these these Spider Mans have bad CGI really. Yeah, me neither. Like, I I, I just of don't course find it, scenes it helps out like... that the things are like realistic. They exist, so it's easier to f- fake stuff. Yeah, because when sure. you have to fake stuff that doesn't exist really or isn't kind of physically pof- uh, possible to do do so, it's yeah uh, much I harder I to fake. Think uh, nothing, nothing against Chadwick Boseman and rest in, may he rest in peace. Oh yeah. Um, oh, and I'm kind of sad if we don't get the second Black Panther because the story or the rumors of the story was great. I think had a lot yeah, of potential. Yeah, but uh, I would like to see as but, um, as the like the sister or something like becoming a Black Panther and like. Yeah, yeah. There's I think lot of good point, actors yeah. on the, like the cast on these movies are good. Yeah. I think MCU's best part that MCU has done is the casting. They've always been great in the casting, and that's why if there's like these rumors that are like sounds like awful or horrible, like I never really trust them or believe them because I'm like, I don't believe MCU would make that. I and I, I kind of trust MCU with their casting. So yeah, but um, where would we put it? 
Mm-hmm. Ah, no. This is this is in the good there is movies that should be either okay yeah, or yeah. great. Yeah. But I don't know. I would maybe put this to good. Maybe. Really? Okay. I, I, okay. I, I, I was debating between okay and watchable enough, but okay is it that <laughs> let's, is okay. Let's put it is. okay. Okay. I, it I think is. the best part of this movie is that villain. It is what it is. But there's yeah, it is what it is. There's a lot of problems with this movie that I think a lot of people don't want to see or don't want to talk about. You know, they kind of it's like a movie that people like, so they are more okay with the with the bad stuff in it, you know? Yeah. If that makes sense. Uh um, should we go next one? Yeah, let's is... go to the next one, which is Avengers Infinity War. Actually, should we talk the boat? Because we, if we start to talk about these Avenger movies, we have to talk. We are going to reference it to the other Avengers. So should we just? Yeah, let's go push Infinity the... War and Endgame both back to back. Yeah, let's. Or, yeah, because that, that yeah. I think that's smart. Because then we don't have to jump back. So do, uh, do we go the movies. Avengers or do we go Ant Man and the Wasp and Captain Marvel first? Uh, we could do solo movies first and then go Avengers. Yeah, end. okay, that makes sense. Yeah. Um, so, so Ant-Man and the Wasp. Ant-Man and the Wasp. Uh, I don't know, this movie didn't really have a villain. This movie, I remember much of it, so... But did you see this in movies? Mm. I didn't, no. Yeah, because I, I, I saw this in movies. So okay. Made my I time a bit different say, first experience, yeah. Yeah, I gotta say the only part of this movie that I really, really love, or like only scene that I think is amazing, is the end credit scene. And it's amazing because of the Infinity War. So, I don't know. I would put this too. Hmm. It's fun to buy. I would like put it to watchable enough or okay. I don't think... I don't know. It's kind of hard to say. The story is... It's one of these funny movies. It's like MCU. Like, I like the MCU funny movies. But when I have to compare... Like I said, I have to compare them to the other MCU continuity. And... I, uh, uh, I just become sad. Uh, <laughs> it's a, it's like... It's, I could put it... It's so good movie. Uh, it's so it's fun. It's fun. Let's say it's fun. But yeah, I would just say it's fun movie. But as a movie, I don't yeah, think We should have just category fun and put crazy. all the movies. <laughs> <laughs> like yeah, below, we, we, we will below do like bottom. tier list of like what is the funnest <laughs> movie. No, we should have bo- bo- below bottom tier one tier that's like golden fun movies and put all yeah, the fun just, movies. Yeah, just have like fun. Like doesn't yeah, matter category. if they're good movies or not, but if they're fun to watch, they're yeah. <laughs> so we we'll just could put Guardians and Ragnarok and Ant Man. Yeah, but I think there's so many things that I don't like about this movie or like the villains and the stuff. But then also it's. The villain well, is not the, too bad to not watch. I think it's like okay. It's I, I think guess. it's kind of good in some some movies not to have actually that evil guy, not that much evil guy, but I still it's kind of. <laughs> yeah, but I, I think it's like it's not even that there's no villains, but the ghost. I don't know. I don't think the character makes any sense, honestly. Or I don't yeah, like the, the character at all. So yeah, the, I don't know. but the goal, ghost isn't even evil character. It's not even bad. Like it's not, not evil, evil sidekick. It's just confused character. Yeah, but I think the character is just kind of weird, in my opinion. I don't know. I will. Yeah, but yeah, okay. Yeah. I will probably put it to okay. But what do you think? Yeah, uh, yeah. Let's put it okay with the other end. Is this a first? Ah. Uh, movie that goes next to its original one or the first one because I don't think yeah, we have it is. double stacked any yeah okay yeah next one probably yeah this is the first one <laughs> yeah so let's go to the next one which is um, Captain, Captain Marvel. Marvel yeah Brilla and it's Sharon, not as yeah. bad as people say it is it's just that he, I like the, I like the backing Carol. on Nick Fury <laughs> just Nick Fury's story makes it better yeah, it does. But like, it's a okay movie with an okay story, with an I think awful main character, a boring, super boring main character with not really any any arc whatsoever. Yeah, it like, doesn't really build anything, or it kind of just like it's the MCU doesn't really have this like origin stories of the characters, except like Hulk. Hulk is origin sto- origin story. It's kind of bad. Ant Man is an origin story. It's decent. Doctor like, Strange is pretty high on our list and Spider-Man, but like many of these origin movies, 
actually origin origin movies from like a start of their life kind of yeah I don't know I just I think Captain Marvel biggest problems are that the main character a lot of people say that the, okay the story of the main character is that at the end she learns to or I just learns that and understands that she already is great and has these powers and and believes on herself but I will I would say I will argue that she did that already she was like from the start she was like yeah I can do this I'm the best you know the only difference from the start and to the end that she can use her full powers at the end and that's it and the other how, how she got the costume is just like weird it's like a game where he chose the costume but there's I don't know it's just there was the weird scene that the kid is like he just she just the Carol changes the colors of her costume and then the kid is like yeah that's cool yeah that's 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 the one I don't know it's just I don't know beer is there that type of scene I don't really yeah, know okay. that, like uh, I like the oh half. is is uh, uh, there's uh, Nick Fury but is there uh, Phil Coulson on this movie the other agent is he on this movie I'm not sure I I, I just had a flash flash from uh I'm not Captain sure if, if he is, he's like cast. at the end. Uh, is, 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 oh, yes, uh, Clark Craig as Phil Coulson is in the movie. Okay. Yeah, he's probably doing with uh, Nick Fury of this one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, because uh, there's like, like I have watched the series Agent of Shields, like, after the shield breaks up and between like Ultron and something like after that they kind of rebuild shield like twice or something but it gets fucked fucked up and bro- broken yeah like again just some stuff and I uh, like Phil Coulson is the then leader of the shield for a while as uh, Nick Fury is just AFKing in, on outer space on a scroll spaceship I haven't seen I have only seen like the first season of the shield and yeah I, I would say I will say if you don't want to see, like, if you want to see only the series part, like, the series goes from Avengers something uh, to, like, the Civil, not the Civil War, I mean, uh, Winter Soldier when the shield breaks up and that stuff. I would, I would like, I think it's like first season and maybe the second season, like, that's, the, those seasons are only just, like, going through those, that those, like, stuff in the yeah. shield side. They are pretty interesting, but if you don't want to watch, then it goes like this outer space. Yeah, they kind of start going like this, like okay, aliens yeah. and mutants and like... So if you don't want to watch that, just watch the first one and a half seasons or something. Yeah. But, but yeah, uh, should we put it somewhere? <laughs> yeah, Captain Marvel. Where, where would you put it? Because I would uh, say it's the list is pretty so stacked bad up. and I will put Thor the Dark World to the... Yeah, can we just now just lower Thor and yeah, lower the uh, Thor already? Yeah, like Uh, this. I don't know if it's. I would would say, uh, but I would say it's watchable enough. Okay. I would put it like this. Yeah, I would put it like that. Also, I would like I would maybe drop Iron Man, like the Hulk and Iron Man three, the one one below, and like drop some movies from OK and good. Down, but maybe we do that uh, later. Let's, let's keep know. them. Let's keep them where, where they where we yeah, put them at right the yeah. and change okay. them at the end. Okay, yeah. yeah. Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's stick to that plan. Okay, Spider Man. Spider Man Far From Home. Do we put actually? Maybe we should go to because of the story of the Spider Man. We should maybe go that last or well. I don't know if that matters, but it's kind of the story of Far From Home depends in a lot of ways to Endgame and yeah. Infinity War, so... Well, yeah, technically, yeah, but we all already kind of talk about it's better than the previous Spider-Man, yeah. so it goes, it's, pretty, just, much go, it's yeah, pretty much we, going to great already, so... Yeah, that's... Yeah. Okay, yeah, we can talk about it later, that's, but that's, yeah. Yeah, that's easy. Yeah. Uh, the um, last Avenger movies. Yeah, Avengers Infinity War... I will say if any movie, I I will say this movie should go to Marvelous. Honestly, that's my opinion. I really like this movie, and um, 
I think the ending is something that I did not did, expect at the time. Yeah, exactly. It did I remember not, nobody I kind of before that. this movie, I kind of dropped out. I didn't really watch a lot of these MCU movies. Yeah. Like when they came out, I was like, I don't really care. I don't know. Like this, it's, uh, I kind of yeah, yeah. lost my interest. And then you want to go watch this movie on the, on the cinemas and you kind of asked me to go. And then I was like, uh, after after a little while, I was like, okay, whatever. Let's go to watch this. And I, I even made like Photoshop my own like meme version of the cover where I put like million different characters from different movies. <laughs> oh, yeah. So I, I was like, yeah, it, this Monday. is not going to work. I was like so sure that this is not going to work. There's much too many, way too many characters. And like, yeah, this is not going to work. But at the end, yeah, it was I still amazing. Think that, yeah, the, these Avengers movies have way too many characters. <laughs> But yeah. uh, when I was watching, like, especially Infinity War, but both of these movies, well, in- Endgame doesn't really have that many. They only have them at the end, you know? Yeah, on the end, but, yeah. But at the, uh, like, in Infinity War, I don't think it ever creates any problems that there's a lot of characters, or, like, it doesn't feel weird, or, like, too much. I think the way they've done the movie, all the scenes where they kind of change places and uh, goes from different characters to focus on other characters, I think they always, every single time they did it in a way that it doesn't confuse the viewer and you're like, no, you know what's going on. I'm impressed with the way they did this. You know, and uh, the ending was a surprise for sure. And uh, because at the yeah. time, remember, remember when we were watching it from the cinemas, we didn't know about second Avengers. Yeah. They didn't talk about there being part two, you know, of this movie or this story. Yeah. So it was uh, a big surprise for me. So I would probably put it to Marvelous. I think if any movie. I don't know. I think uh, this movie and, and maybe the Winter Soldier are the best in the MCU. And I would also even maybe put Civil War in my opinion. I think I love those three movies. So that's yeah, just my opinion. I, 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 I have a hard time right now. Uh, <laughs> You're just having a hard time. Yeah, well, overall, yeah. But everybody's <laughs> having a hard time right now. But Yeah. Um, that was just out of the blue sky. I'm just having a hard time right now. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm having a hard time <laughs> thinking which one even is better from... Uh, Infinity War and Endgame, it's... Like, I think Endgame is, like, a great payoff, but I think, in my honest opinion, without Infinity War or these other movies, Endgame would be just a bunch of crazy shenanigans going on, you know? Yeah, like, uh, it's more space adventure on the Avengers uh, Infinity War. (laughs) Yeah. Which is the type of I don't really like in these movies uh, but in the end game they're more like on the earth and more serious kinda so uh, well both of these movies are probably the only movies where I like tear up at the end um, yeah cause I, I, I think I, I cannot pick one being better than yeah it's really hard other. to pick which is better but I do like the references to old movies on the time travel <laughs> yeah the time traveling part on end game which yeah it's like I it's fun to see those like all serious person Tony meeting his dad and Cap yeah. finding himself and then just people being on the just on Earth and just being so confused what to do next and it's good. Both of these movies are amazing. Yeah, they're pretty good. Uh, <laughs> I think both of these movies are amazing, but I, myself, I like the Infinity War more because yeah, yeah, I think I have to go with Infinity War being the better one. But do I like Endgame that much? And do I? Oh, this is hard. So hard now. Yeah. Somehow you may just I'm put thinking, both of them to Marvelous. They should uh, probably be both in the same category. I don't know. Yeah, I, I really don't know right now. I, I will say my... Uh, how would I say this? I will put both of them to Marvelous. I okay. think. Because the stakes... The beefs are so big. <laughs> and, and delicious. And the yeah, payoff but, is amazing. Uh, and it's kind of payoff to all these yeah, other as a movies. movies uh, yeah, as a mo- that's just talking about how good are they overall. Like by themselves as a movies, they could they are pretty high. But if I have to just compare them to the other movies in as a continuity, I just yeah, I'm having a really hard time. I don't know. I would say 
great or marvelous. I don't know which one. I don't really know. Just put them somewhere. If, if they would be like united, then I would say marvelous. Yeah, if they yeah put them both on great. We have to. I I I cannot I cannot for put anything. I cannot. I don't know. Like this. Yeah. And somehow then. I would like to put end game with Captain Marvel, but I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't. I can't. That, that, that I can uh, agree with. Uh, but uh, but oh, yeah, we are be... we are coming around. Uh, we have now gone one, through all the all the movies. One, one twenty now... mark of the podcast. Yeah, should yeah. we um go check what uh, or go through the list and what's what we're gonna change? So the first one I think we're gonna change is put towards the dark world to the last place. What do you think? Yeah. So first drop will be uh Thor uh one down. Yeah, uh, Thor second is... one down. And uh, what about these? At least, how do we put that? Because I was thinking, I, I I was thinking I could, uh, we will drop them both, uh, Iron Man and Hulk one down. Yeah. Just now. I think that's uh, fair. And I was thinking well, also here. maybe throwing Bo. Well, Thor, the original Thor, yeah, one down. I will. Yeah, I'll that also down. put Iron Man two one down maybe. Yeah, I was I that's was about fair. to say I will drop it one down also. Uh, yeah. Now we have to t- go maybe uh, higher and think about uh, going yeah, up and going down. Yeah. At the Avengers the is pretty high. Put, which is the first one to put on the on the highest pedestal? The marvelous. Uh, we were talking first ones. We would like. Uh, we were talking were probably the Cap and then Infinity War. So I think we should maybe, maybe. We should maybe do that. Yeah. Like this. Yeah, then we have to shuffle out the middle part a little bit. Uh, yeah. Would you like to drop something? I would maybe honestly, I would maybe from looking to the, 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 the middle to good. I would probably put the first Captain America to okay. Okay. Uh, Do you agree? Really? No, yeah, I, don't know. It, I just don't think it's it's, it's kind of good because. There's it's I same rank know. with strange and stuff. Um, but I don't think it's as good as let's say Civil War, Doctor Strange, Spider Man. Yeah, Civil War. Yeah, or it, even Guardians of the Galaxy. So I think if if we will have Captain America here, I think we should. Yeah, but this also half first of this movie is too great. I don't know. Uh, should we? Uh, I don't know. We have to drop at least two of the of that bar and maybe. I would say the first one maybe. Uh, my 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 two that I will drop from this is Captain America and Age of Ultron. Captain America and what? And an Avengers Age of Ultron. Yeah, okay. Um, I have to I think, think it's about kind of me- it's a big mess in a lot of parts of the movie. Captain America, I I think it's always yeah. it, it was always kind yeah, of yeah I I could drop decent but boring. I know. I, yeah, because uh, I will say Cap Cap first Cap is kind of it's kind of decently good movie still. But I don't know if it's as good as the others on the good list. So I yeah, think we need exactly. to lift up a lot of movies uh, from there. Or is it? But do you agree with the uh, uh, second Avenger, yeah, the Age yeah, of Ultron? Avengers, yeah, Avengers, okay. yeah. Age of Ultron can go one down. James Spader isn't that good buff to keep it on good. Yeah, no. Then we need to probably lift some movies up. Yeah, we need to lift something up. I think I, I know that you want to lift Doctor Strange. Yeah. And I will probably want to lift Civil War. Like, I'm between Civil War and Guardians of the Galaxy, not thinking those two movies would be higher, but then again, Guardians of the Galaxy is not as good as these others. I will probably put Civil War to great. Do we put Civil War and Doctor Strange to great? Or I would, yeah, I would actually, I would lift at least Doctor Strange to great. I'm not sure about Civil War yet, because I have to compare them to the other movies. Because now I'm thinking about the first Avengers, I'm not sure. I, I might be on a thought of dropping first Avengers. Uh, really? Yeah. Mm. I, I don't know. I really... Because <laughs> I think Civil War is good, but is it better than first or worse than first Avengers? It's a different type of movie, of course, but I think it's yeah. just as... I will even say Civil War is better than First Avenger, but I uh, or the same or pretty much the same. But yeah, I don't they think are it's pretty much the worse. same. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think I will put both of them to create. I I think Civil War is better than. Uh, okay, than, let's do that lift. Let's do that lift. Uh, uh, Strange uh, Civil War up. Yeah. One. I think this, uh, this seems about right. I I really like Civil War. It's probably one of my favorite movies. Yeah. I'm um, like, uh, is there something we need to drop right now? Because I think we have to. From here, from the crate. No, or... from any, any, any place right now. 
I don't really know. I to me this looks kind of decent. Like solid, I would only, yeah. if I would only if I would have to drop something, I would drop Captain America, but I don't really want to drop that yeah. either. So because yeah, because if we were dropping Captain America, I I would have to say we would have to drop Iron Man also one down. Yeah, like I, I like I, Iron Man more than in first Captain America, but not that much. Not yeah, because I, 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 I have to say, they're like equal movies to me. They're, yeah. like, they're a, as good. Yeah, the, dropping one would mean dropping the other one, so it's pretty hard. This looks right to me. This is, looks the way I would put them, or the way I would want to put them. I don't know. I think you can see from here that there is a much more good movies in MCU, so they've done amazing job with the with the whole franchise. So there is uh, a lot of great movies and uh, also a lot of good movies and not that much bad movies. And even the worst, like Iron Man 3, is something that I can watch, but I just, no. Uh, well, yeah. Yeah, if we do this again in a year, I think the list will look totally different yeah it's it's gonna look different and we probably need to have more tiers um because no i think we need to have a less one less tier and we have really? to down down rank a lot of these movies <laughs> yeah I, I would like even put like a uh, one bit being great and good and one bit being good and okay and okay that's a bit picky but i would get rid of uh watchable enough and just have that and then, because then we will have to really think which movies yeah. do actually suck. True. Well, let's see. Yeah. By the way, I didn't. Be- before we are gonna end, I just want to ask you, um, what is your favorite? If you will have to choose, what is your favorite face from all of those I, three? I think, I think, I think that came pretty clear already. Yeah, yeah just watching I the like... tier list. But um, this is the list we ended up with, and uh, I'm gonna just go fastly through. So the Marvelous is the, the best ones. We have Avengers Infinity War, Captain America, The Winter Soldier. In, in the great section, there is the most movies. There is First Avenger. There is Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. Spider-Man Far From Home. Avengers Endgame. Doctor Strange. And Captain America Civil War. And first of all, the movies that are on the same tier, like these are not in order. I like, yeah, yeah, not yeah, saying that didn't. Avengers is better than Endgame or Spider-Man is better than Doctor Strange or yeah. Civil War. It's not like that, but it's, they are just on the same tier. They, these are not in order. The only order yeah, is like this. Yeah, way. we totally talk too much for us to have a time in this one and a half hour episode to rate them inside of the tiers also. <laughs> yeah, but um, yeah, then in the good section there is the first Iron Man, the first Captain America... Guardians of the Galaxy, the first one, and first Spider-Man. There is a lot of first movies in that tier. Only first movies, only the first movies in that tier. Um, then on the OK, uh, which I, I think I would describe OK as movies that that is fun to watch, but not like special. Um, so we have Ant-Man, Ant-Man and the Wasp, Thor Ragnarok, Black Panther, and Avengers Age of Ultron. And watchable enough, we have Iron Man 3, Thor, the first one, and Captain Marvel. Sorry, Iron Man 2, not 3. Iron Man 2. Iron Man 2, yeah. Uh, Pretty bad is Iron Man 3, The Incredible Hulk. And the last movie is Thor, The Dark World. We have to do this list again in a year when we watch these movies again. Yeah, we like have to, like after phase 4, we need to watch all these movies from phase 1 to phase 4 and then do the tier list again. We have to do do like same time on 2021 after possibly 2 or 3 movies come out. Uh, Yeah. So we have plus 25 movies. We, we, We will need to plan that in the future. Let's see. Yeah, depends on uh, what's your demand. <laughs> yeah, that's it for the video. I think uh, put your, maybe not the whole tier list, that's kind of a lot of movies. Well, if you want to put your whole tier list, then go ahead. But um, if you want to put your, uh, what's your favorite movies from MCU? What do you agree or disagree with us? Um, do you hate our tier list? You can create our tier list and um, comment down below what are your thoughts. If you want to see more from us, subscribe. And um, thanks for listening, of course. And hope you're going to have a great rest of the day yeah. or night or whatever. And uh, thanks for watching. Goodbye. Yeah, bye. <laughs>